Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome to Lunchtime with Heavy Cardboard where we play, well, mostly Thank You Fillers. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by my partner, very good friend of ours. I'm Jess. I'm Martin. All right, today we are bringing y'all Warsaw City of Ruins, designed by Philip Malunski and published by North Star Games. Now, you may know this uh, previously as Capitals, I believe, or Capital, uh, by Grana Games, and this uh, recently came out Last year, I think it was, uh, or, or this edition of it came out uh, this year. Last year. We'll try this again. Wow. <laughs> good morning, everybody. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good day. So, uh, before we get started, a uh, big thank you, first off, to North Star Games for sending us the, uh, the review copy of this, as well as uh, supporting the folks at HeavyCon with copies of this as well. Also, big shout out to our 772 patrons who helped promote or help support the show and make all of this possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Also, if you enjoy what we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Maybe hit a thumb. And if you want to join the herd there, you can go to pledgehc.com. Support the show there. All right. So Warsaw, City of Ruins. Thank you, Filler. A uh, cool little tile laying game with a little bit of history uh, about the, the well, the, the city of, of Warsaw. Uh, I played this a number of times back when it the first edition, and now we played this most recently yesterday, mm. getting ready for the stream. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Everybody here has enjoyed it, so hopefully you join us for this. So, you, you ready? Yeah. You ready? Certainly. Hopefully you all are ready. So that said, let's go into Warsaw, City of Ruin. All right, so Warsaw is a unique city. The earliest settlements in the area, area date back to 1,400 years ago with evidence of, of city called Warsaw dating back to 1313. Almost from its inception, it has seen multiple wars, occupations, battles, raisings, massacres, and fires far more than most European cities. Most notably, Poland's capital was largely destroyed during the Second World War. As a consequence, it is often referred to as the City of Ruins. Still, after every calamity, Warsaw rebuilds. Currently, the city is a combination of elegant buildings from Saxon times, architecture from between the world wars, socialist blocks, and modern buildings. Warsaw may not be the most beautiful city, but it is strong and determined. Nothing reflects the city's character more than its diverse buildings. All right, so I think it's pretty cool that the theme comes through in that the actual buildings in Warsaw are used in this game. Now, what is this game? It's a tile laying game. So all of us are going to start with a starting tile here, and then we're going to go through six epochs or six different eras. There are special buildings that will be awarded to players that meet certain criteria here. And then there is World War I between the third and fourth epoch, and then the, uh, between the fourth and fifth, we have World War II. Each of us starts with six Zloty, I believe is what it was called back then, right? Zloty, yeah. Zloty, I, I will do my best. Uh, so we will try and call it that. So we're going to start out with four each, four tiles from the first epoch. And it's a draft, drafting game and tile laying game. So we're each going to start with four. In odd rounds, we are going to pass clockwise. In the even rounds, we will pass counterclockwise. Choose one, and then once we all have chosen, we're going to then either choose to build the tile adjacent to existing tiles, paying the cost that's printed on the tile, or discarding the tile for three zloty. There you go. Rinse and repeat and do that over the course of six epochs. Now, some examples as well as the whole point of the game is scoring victory points. I should point out we have a victory point track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. All right, 
So this is what a city might look like as we advance throughout the game. As I mentioned, the game takes place over six epochs with four tiles possibly being built per round. Now you are limited to a four by three grid. So everybody's starting tile can be somewhere in their starting grid. Whenever you choose to build a tile, that you get from drafting, you have a choice. First off, you can either pay the cost as shown in the top left hand corner and build it in any configuration that you wish. The only rules of which is it must be orthogonally adjacent to at least one tile in your city. In addition to that, again, it must maintain the four by three grid. Or you can choose to discard the tile for three money or three zloty. Now you can overbuild. At any point you can overbuild. There is, to the best of my knowledge, no limit on how high you can overbuild. So if you don't want one of these tiles, you can just overbuild it. And by doing so, you would pay the difference between this and this. So in this case, you do not get a refund of four Zloty. It just would be free in which to build like so. The whole reason we are going to be doing this is at the end of each of the six epochs, we're going to go through scoring in this order. So the first one is each park, these green areas being park, you choose one park and then you're scoring, going to score a number of victory points based on how many residential areas are adjacent to that park. So if I choose this park, I have one residential. If I choose this one, I have one big residential. If I choose this big park here though, I have one residential, two, and three adjacent to it. Then we look over here at the scoring, uh, the reference style, it says three scores, three victory points. However, if I had upwards of seven or eight, you'll see that it ramps up 13 or 16 points respectively. Each player will score those in turn order, and then we go on to the purple one. Purple one says, score whatever victory points are shown on that tile. Two points, easy enough. Each yellow building or commercial district, this is the one thing that confuses me because in a small city as well as suburbia, it uses a different color coding for industrial and commercial. Anyway, the yellow buildings, you get income. You get one zloty for each adjacent red. So you'll notice that this one has one, two, and this one has that, so I would get three income for that one. Then for each blue or a, each industrial, you'll get money as shown on it. So in this case, I would get two money. However, I'm going to lose one victory point for it being adjacent to a red residential area. Then the buses. So you'll notice that on my tiles, I have a bus tile here, here, as well as one there. You're going to score two points for each as long as you have a minimum of two and they're not orthogonally adjacent. What I mean by that is if this were like this, this would be adjacent, this would actually only count as one. And now would be a good time to talk about areas. In the rule book, it describes things as areas. An area is one contiguous group of the same color buildings. So this is one area of a park. This is one area of a residential, whereas different park, different park, different park because those are separated. If that had been like this, then all of this would be one park. We get the point on that, right? Then last but not least, additional money and victory points from any special buildings that may be built. So the airport here you'll see at the end of every round you can turn in six uh, zloty for three victory points or three victory points for nine zloty. You can do that a maximum of one time per round. Do that over the course of six rounds or six epochs going through different tiles. If you'll show, uh, grab a stack of tiles, you'll see each set has a different, there you go, each epoch has a different color as well as they get better as we go along. Whoever has the most victory points round, wins at the end of six rounds. Any questions? Good, let's get started. All right, I will bring up those and hold on, before you do that, I think I have some ones, I do. No. I have a one. There we go. Totally Sorry, ruining my problems. I know, I know. There we go. Have a good sleep, Luke. Hey, Seth, thank you for that. 
first time live viewer. All right, awesome. I appreciate that. Thank and you'll you. notice we don't use them all because we're a three-player game. Right. In a four-player, we would use them all if you want to put those in <coughs> an example. Yep. Thank you, sir. All right. So, Jess, I will bring these back so you and I can share that. All right. So, I didn't put the colors. Jess is going to be blue. By the way, I believe this is the... Uh, I want to show this here, too, before we get started. I believe these, I shouldn't have chosen the white one, are the uh, symbol for the city of Warsaw, I believe, is what these represent. These are the first player marker, or the uh, play, victory point markers for, for each of the three uh, players in ours four, in a four-player game. So uh, Martin's going to be white, I'm going to be yellow, Jess is going to be blue, because, well, no green. All right, so that said, here we go. All right. Hey, Richard, what's up? Welcome, everybody. So we're all looking at our tiles. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. All right, so now everybody shows their tile and chooses to build it or not. There we go. Yep, there we go. So four is Lottie for me. There we go. Four is Lottie for me. All right, and we pass and draft. Hmm. Wow. Well. Okay. Watch the teaching chipmunk. That was that was a really quick teach in that case. <laughs> then, Matt. All right, all right. So, build or discard. I'm discarding. Okay. Uh, I don't have a real good reason for this, but we'll yep go with it. Wow. Yeah, none of those tiles are very enticing. Mm. Well. I'm getting some hmm. drinks here. You're right. Seriously, I am not super thrilled with my choices so far the entire game. Well, you can have that back, Edward. Yay, lucky <laughs> me. I can tell. All right, this I'm discarding. That's going to be for three. I'm discarding as well. Build up some money for... Because uh, the tiles do get a lot better and more they expensive do, right. later on. So now everybody mm. can show. So I would lose one less uh, building for each war. I should point out... Uh, between the third and fourth epoch, you're going. Everybody has to get rid of one uh, stack. Meaning, regardless of how overbuilt it is, the entire thing goes away. Uh, during between four and five, you lose two for World War II. Uh, the only rules are you cannot bisect your city. You can leave a hole or anything as long as there's a uh, contiguous um, group of buildings. You can change, uh, choose a path. What? Go ahead. No, I just realized I, I should have built that because... Oh, there is that. I've completely forgotten the end of round bonus is most special buildings. Nobody's built a special building, so it's just... That'd be zero. That's all right. All so right. That would be a so good choice. I will getting rid of this. build that. Okay. Oh, now you're building that. <laughs> <laughs> should have I mean, said it a little later, I should have waited to discard yeah. it first before I did that. Um, I don't know about this one. Uh, I'm floundering, so... All right, so now we go through... The scoring, as shown here. So everybody's going to score victory points for a park. So for instance, I, I'm choosing this park. It's one residential. That'll be one point for yellow. Jess? Uh, three points. Why? Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Good point. Go for it. All right, then we go into purple. Score your points. I got one. OK. Yellow, uh, you get one Zlati. Uh, Adjacent, so I'm gonna get a total of two for that. And Mark, I get two as well. Then uh, blue buildings, nobody's built any. Moving on, buses, nobody's built any. Any special buildings? I uh, should have backed up. These get awarded based on certain criteria. I apologize. I should. This should go first. So we have uh, Willie now. I'm sure I'm butchering this, but this is most special buildings built. 
I've built that one. So I then get this and I can place this for free. I'll go ahead and put that there and I get two income for it. Then any other special buildings that anyone's built, we will score for. We don't, that's it, boom, done. We go into the second epoch. Okay. Oh, so the next one, I'll go ahead and call these out here real quick. The Grand Theater is the most purple areas. So for instance, I have one right now. Uh, this one is Wilson Square, the most residential areas. So right now Martin has two, Jess has three, I have one. The WZ route is most overbuilt tiles, meaning how many times have you overbuilt. And the Europa Market, the most commercial districts, gets you 15 income. This time we're going to pass clockwise. Hmm. Hmm. If there's a tie, it's the tiebreaker is least money, and if the money's all equal, um, then the tiebreaker is least victory points. And I don't remember what it is, if it goes beyond that. Right, which I've never seen, but yeah, I suppose we could look it up if that were to happen. I don't want that. I think I do want this. The descriptions of the buildings on the tile are very terse, but they're fully described in the rule book, so occasionally we grab the rule book to figure out what the buildings actually do, which is what Jess okay. is doing at this moment. <sighs> okay, fine. And we pass to the right. Yep. All right. And reveal. I'm going to go very holy. Four. Holy Trinity Evangelical Church. And what's it do? It gives me two victory points every go. All right. So I reckon that's worth the five, since I have a lot of slotties. And what's yours, Jess? Um, Jablonowski Palace, whenever you overbuild, gain two points. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I want. Now I'll go up here. Two. Okay. All right. Mm. So I have one Zlati left. Hmm. Have you been to Warsaw before? No, I've never been to Poland, in fact. Same. So, I come from Walsall, but I've never been to Warsaw. <laughs> All right, I'm discarding this one for, oh, I guess the discards could go there to show what epoch we're in. So, yep. three Zlati. All right, I'll keep uh, building mine. Uh, building the Collegium Nobilium. Uh, every purple one gets you a coin. Okay. Mm. If you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. All right. Well. You're going to have to push those a little further. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about the J-Rex. Mm -hmm. Short arms. Oh, this is so bad. Actually. I feel like I, I am not choosing well right now, but... We'll see how it goes. You're doing quite well. I'm not getting any money, and I'm not going to get any money, so that's bad. Yeah, discarding tiles becomes a, a, a thing that must be done. Mm. You were money rich last time because you had that doubling of your income. Well, it depends on you? what you get, um, so I'm going to trash that one. And I'm building this I'm building for three. Eight. For four. And you said you're trashing this one, right? Okay. Nope. The Royal Baths Park is not getting built. Yeah, that led me astray last time. And I would like to build this, but I can't afford it, so I'll take the three slotties instead. Do I start next turn with no money? Well, you'll get... No, maybe you won't. Never mind. Ooh. I have not yet to get a yellow one when I had money. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. So there is no ability to get money. Um, so actually, though, yeah. All right. So I'm going to overbuild this for free. Yeah. Oh. And when I overbuild, I get two points. Yeah. It works out. So. I don't get three bucks, though, which is probably a mistake. But All right. So now, most purple areas. I have three. 
That'd be me. Yeah. Mm. And so the Grand Theater says every purple building adjacent to this theater gets me one victory point. Well, that's 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 done well. Um, might as well. So I can go. Well, we now see our four by three. So that's going to get me one victory point for that. Hmm. Okay, then. Plumbera. Parks, for sure. So I'm going to score one point for this one. There, Jess? Uh, three points. For residential. I get two. All right, then purple. One, two, three. Jess? Zero. I score Martin, nothing else. None. Zero. Uh, yellow. I'm going to get two income for these two adjacent to that. And I get three, so that's... Uh, blue buildings, nobody's got any. Bus routes, nobody's got any. And any specials, I technically would have gotten that. I already got that right now. Oh, uh, there we go. Church. Oh, good point. It doesn't matter, but isn't that one purple region? That is one purple. That's, you know what? That's a good point. Thank you. Still, you still got it though, because nobody else there has got purple go. at all. You're fine. You just have you're one right. purple. But you're so. right, it is one purple region. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep it there. Good call. Thank you, Chip. All right. Unless it's most purple tiles, it could be. The Grand Theater is in here. What's it look like? Uh, probably at the back. It might be literally, or the page right before it. Okay. For the milestones. Um. With the most cultural areas, that would be yep, one that'd area. that would be one area. Correct. So, yeah, good catch. At the end of this epoch, we're all going to lose one tile or one height. And so that actually is only one victory point. Correct. Yep, which is what I got. Okay. All right. Oh, well, these are better. Oh. And we're going... Uh, this is clockwise? odd, so we're going clockwise. Yes, ma'am. Really like to take something, but... Mm -hmm. I am really bad at this today. You're really not. I guess I'll go with that one. You're making me feel bad. Sorry, not not my not my intent. I'd be the one that's really bad at this today. Got it. Right, okay, ready? so there we go. I'm not bad at this Gosh. at all, but I'm still in last place. Funny that. <laughs> Josh. So that cost me four. Okay. Beginnings of a bus route. Hmm. Ooh, that would have been nice. I would have liked to have built that. Oh, I should have gotten two income for that as well. I apologize. There. Um. That doesn't help me, but it's money. I guess that works. I wish I could build that. That's yeah, that'll work. Point. I'll go with that. And a and could potentially help. Hey, Paul, yep, good call. Yep, Paul did notice it first, good call. And eventually... Two and a half years ago, we streamed this down in a basement, I think mm. it was, in our first of like four iterations of the studio. Wow. That's, that's impressive, Vince. Good recall. Yeah. Okay. Yes, these guys are double-sided, and literally I did this, well, a little bit better. I did that to try and figure out what side was what, so there we go. All right, everyone choose. Yep, I'm discarding for money. Okay. And we'll place that for three. Since I couldn't get build what I wanted These are to. what I'm handing you. I don't know what those are. Those were here, so. What I'm handing you. Okay. Okay. So maybe. Let me. Yep, that's okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm short. I cannot get past. I get you. <laughs> yep. okay. Well, if you put them right, there or something, then this. it's going to be obvious that sure. it's going around right. this way. So go ahead and build. So go ahead and build yours, Jess. That's what. Uh, I guess I'll go up here. 
Do you pay for that? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. I really like this tile, but I cannot afford it. Makes me sad, but it's going to go away. Yeah, I had that problem last time yep. as well. Really want to build this tile. Can't afford it. Tough. Well. All right, build or not. I'm not. It's uh, the, oh boy. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Good luck pronouncing that. It's a park. Um, Skarsvisky Park. It says it earns a victory point for the length in tiles of one park. So right now that would be two. I would love to build this. But I only have one Zlati, so I will discard it and uh, get three, unfortunately. I will roll that tile for five, because I oh. can not that. Oops. I don't have any purple. Maybe I overbuild. Might yeah. as well throw the ones, twos, and threes on top. Oh, no, because that would give me... Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! I build that there. Is it Carol or Carl? Greetings from Poland. Oh, no. no. Someone's going to be there laugh at that. Oh, the, pronunciations. the pronunciations are going to be butchered. <laughs> I, I know that going in. Oh, my. Well, we um, all know what we've got, and mine's being tossed. Well, that's going to have to be there. So for four, Zlati, there. And Jess is discarding hers. All right. So we go into uh, this. Most residential areas. I have one, two, three. Jess. Three. One, two, three, four. Yours. And what do you Thank get you. for it? And what is it? I get uh, victory points based on what's adjacent. Residential splots are adjacent to it. So I'm going to pop it there. Um, we score those at the scoring stage. All right. So park uh, for adjacent uh, residential. I have one, two, three now. And that's going to be three points for yellow. One, two, three. Yeah. Jess? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And sir? One, two, three. All right. Uh, purple buildings as shown on tile. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Moving on. Um, yellow buildings, uh, yellow areas, uh, you get one income for adjacent to red. So this one will get one, two, nothing. And one, so a total of three Zlati. I get, uh, this one gets one, two, three, and this is four, five, and that's six. Well done. And blue areas, you get income. Yeah, I get a minus one. Can you take a point away, please? Minus one for Jess. Forget and about that rule. That's the only blue one. Yep. Buses, I still think Nothing. I have none. I have one, but that's not enough. Cause and Jess has one anywhere. as well, but none. And then special building. So purple adjacent to this, areas. One, two, three areas for three points. And two income for that. Jess, any of yours? Um, residential adjacent to any special buildings. So one, uh, two, three. Okay. Three for J-Rex, sir. I've got two for my church and two for Wilson Square. All right, so that's it. Yep. And we move into... Ah, something's got to be destroyed. Oh, correct. So we're, uh, World War I happens, we need to destroy one tile. And we can't dip break our thing into two, not that that's a fact. However, I have the arsenal, so I do not have to lose one. Yep. And I will only have to lose one, provided it's still visible. And Another. while everyone's thinking about this... If I can get her, uh, well, go ahead, make your decision on that first, Jess. Okay, um, that was good. That's good. And before we go to the next round. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Uh, did I take one too many for regions? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, one. Ah, you quite right, yes. There we go, good catch. It's easy to, uh, I find, to forget that these make just a single region. It is, and uh, hey, cheers to Kloss. Cheers. Indeed. Welcome. Cheers and welcome. Well, if it changes, oh, come on. Technology is great, except if it doesn't work. And we'll still see you on the Slack channel. All right, well. 
Cheers, I will get it working later. Thank you, Klaus, for the support. Very much appreciated. Be like Klaus, y'all. All right. Eh, all right, so we are now, these are even, so we're going to the right. How much do I have? Hmm. Five? So that needs to go away. Oh, shit. And that's it. Figure out. Does that that works still, doesn't it? Yep, it does. Money. How do I get money? So I'm going to overbuild this, so it costs three, this costs seven, net four, overbuild it like so. That okay. doesn't yeah, quite work how I four. want it to. I'm going to lose one no matter how I do it, don't I? Or, eh, hold on, maybe that isn't what I do. That might be worth it, though. That will. That's four. This is seven. So that actually only cost me three. But they're adjacent. Yeah, but if I do that, then it's not a separate. Oh, that's frustrating. <coughs> yep. Final answer there. So it cost me three gelati. That's not a good plan. Mm. But I need to get rid of you. So, one to overbuild that, and I get two points for overbuilding. All right, two points for blue. All right. This would be good, except I have no money. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. You at least have income. I still have no <laughs> income. That's I can't get income. <laughs> that's unfortunate, yes. Mm. Well, that bleeds for you. Ugh. Uh. Yep. See, I could get income now. I have tiles. And I have no money to pay for it. Oh, this is frustrating. Well. So what if I want to do... I guess... See? Oh, that works. Nope, because that's not next to any red. Wow, this is really, really frustrating. Yeah, that is better. And I have four bucks. Dang it. Um, that'd be next to, oh, but I can't afford it. We've all it. chosen, so feel free to think out loud if you so desire, ma'am. Well, I can't show you the tiles you're getting. Oh, fair point. That's a, well, yeah, good point, I guess. So I yeah. have four, so I can only play this, which is the most beneficial thing, if I cover that one up there. Uh. Hello, Ellen. No, that's not worth it. Still this trying to is, but I can't work. play it. <laughs> and this is great, but I'm never going to have money. <laughs> um, well, what is that? I'm always kind of wondering. Is it just some it display does? that's yeah, it's, got a, it's number? Yeah, it's a digital, uh, digital wow. picture frame. Digital picture frame has just got this ability to increment a number on it? No, those are different pictures. Oh, they're different pictures. Oh, okay, so you can move forward. Okay, that right. makes sense. So Very sensible if it works. Right, if it works, which it has, but it's not now. So, I think... Okay, we're revealing? Yep. Yep. Let's so, this here. If I were to do this like that... Overbuild that for two. That's five. Oh, that's really good. One, two, three, four. Oh, that good. And that costs two. That'll work. I like can that. Make. 
Oh, would that oh, be like that resonance from adjacent? So if I did that, it takes away a point. Hi, Mira. But Sorry, we're not going to see you at Essen. <coughs> two. Seems good. So this increases the size of my park. Mostly it gives me a third, a third bus station. Yeah, right. right. And a bit of money for industrial is not bad. All right, I'll do that. So that's three. So I thought that okay. would be good. Got it. I'm pointing to the wrong up, area. If I can get something up there, but I'm going to need to not build the next one. <laughs> uh, this, yep, uh, these are yours. Yep, these are mine, and it's which one shall I discard? Same, I because build. I am uh, what you might call broke. Oh, wait, I overbuilt, so I get two points. Okay, two points for blue. That's why I did Roger that. So okay. I could look over here and say, what's going to be useful to Jess? Is it gel van camp? Jelly? Jelly? Given her situation, gel? I think giving her a commercial would be a bad thing, so. I have no money. So. So I shall discard. I'm not well, building I suppose I shouldn't discard that anything yeah. unless I can Dylan. figure out a dollar difference. No, it doesn't matter. Take the three. I guess that's three, but I lose points. That's a point. Really, Seth? That's interesting. I don't have that problem. I like the puzzle aspect of mm. that. Just trying to maximize how you can do it. I'm not doing a lot of watching of what other people oh, do. Oh, I'm not either. Which I don't tend to on a lot of games, particularly when I'm less familiar with them. But uh, mm. yes, Mary, the decision definitely. of what to pass on is sometimes I'm, handy. All right, Attic. All right, uh, I'm discarding that for discarding. three. For three. You are. And last one. Hmm. I really would love to build this right there. I wouldn't mind building this. Five and I gained four, but slight problem. Not enough money. I'm trying to this figure out a way to make that points. work. I know, I can't. So I'm going to discard that. I have four. Four three gelati. This would be a separate residential area. So that'd make that a three-point tile. Ah, but it'd be adjacent. Darn it. Um, but I could move this guy. Another gentleman from Poland. Mm. I apologize for the pronunciation. Okay. I'm going to build this. Like yellow, but with a soft E. Four. Slotty? No. Uh, yelly? Mm. Yelly? Yelly? Oh. All right. Lost. So, uh, here we go. Uh, most overbuilt tiles. I have... Two. Three. Yep. Okay, so that sounds like Jess. So you get WZ route, a route, which uh, gets you what? Each overbuilt tile adjacent to it gives a point and a buck. Oh, there you go. Ooh. You've got a hole specially made for it. <laughs> right. Somebody's been planning ahead. Didn't even read that. One, two, <laughs> worked three, out. and here. There's your three. Because that one, that one, and that one are all overbuilt. Technically, you should get that at the end, but yeah. I digress. Yeah. All right, so uh, park uh, for here. So I have, oh, go for it. So I have one, two, three, four. Four, and four is five points. Ah, yes, of course, I've got the table. I'm Just keep forgetting that. One, two, three. Three, three is three. One, two, three, and I now have one park here, so that's one, two, three, Four, which is five points. Then purple buildings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, <coughs> two. Nope. Okay, yellow. So I get one, one two, I get one zloty, three, four, five. Okay, uh, blue. Buildings, um, two income. Okay, bus three. routes. Bus routes. I have three of them. Okay, so six points six for points. white. For I have two. Jess gets four. I have none. And then special buildings. I get two for this. And one, two, three victory points for that. Done. Jess. Um, so I already got the top one. This one is adjacent to special, residential adjacent to special. So there's one, two, three, four. I don't know how to count that. I think it's residential areas that are next to a special. Okay. Right. So, so one, two, three, four. So it's two, the residential, three, so it'd four. be three? 
four. Four, you're right, cool. sir. One, two, all, all of them. All of them. Right, yep. there you go. So it'd be four points. One, two, And three, then I'm going to sell three points for money. And three points back. One, two, three. And how much do you get for that? Uh, nine bucks. Okay. And I get two for my church and two for Wilson Square. So I get four. Four points to 27. There we go. Now, uh, it's World War II, so everybody loses two tiles. Hmm. I'm going to lose this one. I only have to lose one because of the arsenal. So that um, it's important away. to note if you're overbuilt, right? If you choose that one, stack. it's the entire. Yeah. I was trying to say that. No, nope, good call. Yep, sorry. Give me that two tile over there. Sure. So Wilson Square gets me two victory points, but that's not super exciting, so I think that can be one that goes. Hmm. The other one's tricky. I'm tempted to remove this because then that would give me the flexibility to reorient myself and build out in this direction if I wanted to. That's but a that's a point transport, time. which is so it's worth two, two points. points plus I'm getting another one from this, which is three points and a money that I get. Well, two, money. two money from this. That's so it's pretty, pretty valuable tile. tile. Yeah. Um, I could toss this one out. That's only giving me two points. Um, uh, the transports all get me at least two, so probably they're, they're worth keeping compared to that. That's just getting me two money. I'm getting a reasonable amount of money here, and we're coming into a, in towards, towards the final stretch. But of course, this Europa market, which is actually kind of nice, it gives you a... Um, there's a word for that, but I can't pronounce it on the, on, on the, the family show, um, amount of money. So, metric, and that would be free. Uh, oh my goodness. Metric, yeah, something. Metric ton. <laughs> and I'm already on three here. So actually, I'm going to get rid of the Holy Church. I'm thinking of Tactical bombing rid apparently of took out the two monuments. <laughs> exactly. In, uh, in your city. Uh, what is it? I'm looking that up because I'm going to get rid of it if it does what I think it does. So. Okay. All right. No worries. Yeah, um, not, a, not a ton of interaction outside the drafting, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, but like others have said, it's it's super uh, it's super quick, which is what you want in a lunchtime stream. Hey, Greg, from Brussels. Oh, I can't if I get rid of nice. this. So this is a good. Dang it, I can't get rid of this one because. Same, your own. Mm. Yeah, play play does move pretty quick here usually. This is really terrible. I, I want to get rid of this one and I can't because it leaves a hole. Well, you can oh. have a hole. Well, you can get rid of two. It would have to be that one this as well, right? This scores points. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, yep. Dang it. That's really bad. It's actually well, pretty yeah. mild considering what World War II actually did to the city of Warsaw, Seriously, losing two right. tiles. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right? Relatively so minor. Uh, speaking, um, right? I'd have to overbuild. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do that. There we go. All right. So we are into round five. Odd. We are passing left. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's useless to me. Oh, it's actually even more useless to everybody else. That's interesting. Oh, that doesn't score points anymore, Jess. Remember that. You are never going to have money. <laughs> mm. This is the only one I saw. Oh, hold on. This one, maybe. Yeah, I think that works out. That one. Uh, um, Mira, I don't think so. I mean, I can't okay. remember the original version, whether or not it had these for World War One or World War Two, but I think they're pretty close to the same. I don't know how much has changed. So everyone has chosen. Mm -hmm. Place. Overbuild for four Ooh. and two points, Ooh, no, please. Two points for blue yeah. for overbuilding. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. That'll be four. 
Not a great yeah. set of choices I had, but that'll work there, I think. So that'll be seven. Oh, hey, your case is here. All right, so there's that. All right, so now I would like a tile that only cost me two. That'd be great. <laughs> Sure. So right now, how many coins does this give me? One, this, two, three? Correct. This one gives you three. This one would give you two okay. for that. And that, um, mm. just for those wondering what we're talking about here, is this. It says each uh, commercial gives you one for each adjacent residential. It's a little, there would be a little bit easier. There you go, the yellow one. Okay. So that said, this one gives just three. This one gives just two. I'm still I'm still struggling here. I apologize. Um, ooh. Oh. Oh. Got it. Figured it out. All right. I think I have enough under. Okay, we all decided. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Six bucks. I'm overbuilding the six with the seven. I'm building the central department store. So for one. Which amaz oddly enough makes special buildings cost less. I'm not quite sure what the thematic reason is for that, but hey, I'm going with it. The department store, because you can outfit them. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> it's a good try. All right. Um, good try. I keep looking and thinking, oh, no, it's not as good as Which I think tile, it's Paul? Which one? It's this would be so good. Me something oh, I agree. Uh, yeah. Build us a five. I haven't played Sprawlopolis. All right. Yeah, in the first edition, I struggled putting these into the bases and cracked one, so. Uh, and took it upon himself to uh, put those together, and they are all intact. That's good so to there's know. That. Yep. All right. So this one is getting thrown away. Sadly, uh, the main railway station, and apparently this one from Jess as well. And me as well. All right. I wasn't excited by what I had. All right. Oh, I get this one back. <laughs> That's punishment for thinking that I was going to get something use might get something useful in the last tile. Well, it doesn't cost very much, mind, for me now. So it doesn't even cost two to build. Maybe it's worth it. I'd score a whole victory point. It's not worth three for two points, I don't think. I think the money is. Because I can't afford to build it without overbuilding. Well, hold on. That literally cost me money. And that's got to be the connector. Now it costs five. I don't have. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it for three. This is fairly useless, but since it's only two to build because of my department store, I think I'm going to build it for the victory point because I'm going to get a lot of money. All right. Five for that one. All right. Who has the most uh, commercial districts? I have one. Jess? Three. Four. Checks out. Oops. Oop. <laughs> I think Jess was at 33. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think she was. So, all right. Then we'll get you your yeah. money when we get the specials. Yes. All right. So, one park, most residential. So, Jess, go for it. Uh, for what? Parks. Um, three points. You sure? Yeah. Oh, four. Sorry. 
to just... <laughs> no, I just want to make sure I'm not. So that's five points for blue. Yeah. And Martin? One, two, three, four. That's five points. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this park right here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is ten points. Ooh. Nope. No, 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 no. Sorry, yep. Forty-four. Uh, purple buildings. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. Hold on, Jess was it, so hold on. Mm -hmm. Now get two. There we go. Thanks, Eric. All right, and Martin, no purples? Nope. Commercial, I get zero. Jess? Commercial is the yellow. yellow. Yes. Um, this is income. One. So that's two. That's two. Yep. And that's three. Yep. So two, two, seven. three, seven. Martin? We get uh, this one gets me one, two. That one gets me three. Uh, three get, brings me up to three. Four, five for that one. Six. Yep. And blue, get your income as long as it's not adjacent, or you get income, but you will lose points yep, so if it's I get adjacent. Two for that. And I get three for that. So, two back. Uh, bus routes? Nope. Eight for me. Eight to 40. I'm and the last! I eschew uh, public transport, apparently. <laughs> uh, special buildings, purple adjacent. One. Orthogonally adjacent, so this one doesn't count. One, two, three for that. Three points for the WZ route. Uh, uh, three there. Mm. I also get two for that. And Martin? I get one for my passenger automobile factory. So, yes, yeah, still last. Oh well. All right, final round. But I do get 15 yeah, money. Favorite, correct. <laughs> So I'm going to be able to go on a building spree for the last round. That's one I want to get uh, this year at Essen. I know it's a few years old, Iraq, but uh, yeah, Lord of the Ice Garden is definitely on my radar. It has been for a number of years, just haven't gotten around to getting a copy yet. A Polish-based game I played once was Magnum Sal, which was actually rather oh, good. Yes. Theme of uh, going down a salt mine. Yes. And I, with an interesting worker placement um, movement. Uh, I do not have two buses. Mechanic. I did before a chip. I had to destroy stuff and overbuilt. I might have overbuilt it. I, yep, yep I overbuilt it. But yeah, it, that, I've got nine for it's a changing one, game. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't see nine. So nine. So this one. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six. Yep. I'm I seeing six. six. Yep. Um, and to piggyback on what you said about Magnum Saw, I've heard, uh, I, I was only so-so on the game, but I've heard Maria, uh, or Maria, or something along those lines, the expansion, uh, improves the game? No, oh, so, I, I thought it was quite interesting. Okay, fair I kind of enjoyed it. It wasn't stunning, wow. it was definitely okay. Well, what a draw I had. These are uh, special buildings. Um, hmm. I think I'll go there. And this is six, so we're passing uh, anti clockwise. Let's get more tricky. Hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. This way. All right. And I will overbuild the arsenal now. Hmm. Funny you well, can do it that. saves me, it's a point for two. Yeah, I'm going to save. So the mm, difference there is two, so I will pay the two. This costs me 12 points. Or 12. 12 uh, money. Zloty. Wow. Yeah. 12 slotty. But I can afford wow. it. Wow. That's a lot that of money. That would give me an extra point. But Which suddenly I'm in the purples. It is because we're in the last round, so I might as well overbuild. Yeah, all right. 
Um, so for free, I'm going to overbuild this one, get two points. Immediately when you do so? Yes, that's what okay. this thing has been right. doing for me every time. Gotcha, right. Yeah, the Essen uh, preview show, um, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be two parts because you get me and Rado together, two guys that talk a lot and talk for a living. Uh, boy, a lot of talking. Lot, lots of talking, a talking lot. endlessly. Whew. Talking that never ceases. But almost 80 games covered <laughs> in, that, in that, between all of our lists, so there's it's that. It's going to be spectacular, for some definition of spectacular. There, there's that. Wow, do I not want to build any of these? Um, so that's good. Ah, uh, Tim, yeah, I, you already saw I did that earlier on. Mixing up areas for squares is easy to do. So it's more like Zwati, according to what Carol said. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's a funny L as well. It's not actually an L. Oh. It's one of these All strange right. non-ASCII characters like that I we said, I tried. Anglos don't understand. Okay, Zwati. I... I'm throwing that away, and that kills me to do that. So, there we go. Using that square okay. five. Well, I have to. Uh, oh, we we were, yeah, we're placed. Yep. So I have to no, overbuild. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have to overbuild. Uh, that was never very much use, but this this is nice, and it doesn't cost me anything because five on top of five. The, this this discount is actually proving to be almost useless. Well, I suppose it did allow me to build. It got me a victory point, sort of. Hey, Ashborn. Mm -hmm. That's got to be worth a shot. Looking up a tile real quick. That's a no-brainer. This is really good for you. Everyone good? Yep. Build National Stadium for five. This will cost Golden me five to put this on top. Five. And last style of the game. Oh, it's a bus route. It's not very helpful. It's two points. And it's five, uh, five money for every uh, point or turn in. I will overbuild that for five. It is. Oh, it can't go there. Where can I overbuild? Well, if I overbuild that. For two, that does get an extra victory point it's because that's two residentials instead of one. It also will give me some money for that that might it help it out. It doesn't improve it. my transport though because it links in. It's, for two, it's two points. It's going to be worth a shot. Plus two points. And I think it's still one, two, three, four. Okay. So for four, I'm going to overbuild here. I get two points for overbuilding. Yep. There we go. All right. So we go into one more scoring here, which is technically final scoring. Uh, so your biggest park, one, two, three, four, five, six areas, which is 10 points. 17. Blue, or one, go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Which is seven points. To 48, help me out. 48, One, two, okay. three, four, which is five. Yep. Yep. And then uh, purple areas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, still. Two. Two for there, but I suddenly have nine from nowhere. Which is kind of nice. Yellow, get your money. I, uh, I still get zero. Oh. One, two. One, three, four, two, five, six, seven, eight, three, nine. four, five, six, seven. Yep, checks out. Blue, get money for, I get three for that one. Okay, guess we're done. Uh, bus routes, I, I still have no uh, public transport. Jess? Uh, two. I still score so eight. Two points or two? Two transports. Oh, right. so four points. Four points. Thank yeah. you. 
And I have four, so I get eight. Seven, fifteen. Okay. And then special buildings. Jess, what you got? Um, all right, golden terraces, a point for every uh, commercial area, so three points. Gotcha. Willanow, a point for every residential. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six to 16, okay. Every overbuilt tile, one, two, three, four points. Overbuilt tiles adjacent to this route, one, two, three, plus three bucks. Oh, I think I forgot to take that last time. Yeah. That there it? Mm -hmm. Martin? Uh, city center, I get two points for every transport on the outer edge, which is four of them, so that is a total of eight. And I also get 15 zwatis for my Europa market. All right, so for me, here I get uh, for each adjacent, one, two, three, so three for that. Then one for every special building. One, two, three, four. Uh, so that's here. Then for every park in my area, I, I get two. That's one, two, three, four. So that's eight, 42. And every tile in my largest park gets a point. One, two, three, four, four more. Um, then turn in your money, five, I get one for that. Two points. Martin? I get seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go, final scores. Terrible teacher, Martin, J-Rex. There we go. So. Uh, question from Paul. Um, no, I think it's nine. This is one, two, and this is three. This is this one gets four five. No, but that that yellow area is all connected. Yes, I know. No. To down this, there. This, oh, this. quite right. Yes. Okay. So I lose two. So I thought I had nine, which doesn't actually make a difference. There we but go. Good call. There we are. Yes. Good. There we go. Good spot. I'd completely missed it. I'd screwed myself up with that. All right. So there we go. That is uh, Warsaw City of Ruins. So start with Martin. Um, thoughts on the uh, tile laying game? That is uh, Warsaw. Nice little lunchtime game. Quick to teach, easy to play. Um, just makes a very agreeable, simple game. Good sort of tile laying placement. Yeah. I, I rather like it for what it is, which is a simple lunchtime game. Another thing I like to point out about this game is all of the pieces are good, solid, heavy blomp. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect game to take um, to a picnic table or it's a beach true. or something like that. You're not going to lose any pieces. You're not going to have things blow around. So, you know, it's a small factor, but on the other hand, when, do, when summer comes around again, it could be a fault. We, we joked yesterday that they won't blow away, or if they would blow away, they, uh, you probably don't want to be outside. Mm -hmm. So there's that. So what do you think? Might need some use some rocks for these, but yeah. Right, yeah, right. yeah fair enough. <laughs> All right, yeah. Little pebbles for the... I do a lot of playing outside. You have to watch out for these things. Um, I do... No, I like it. It's very easy to get to the table. It's... Uh, Interesting how, you know, with any drafting game, how it comes out and making sure you have money for when the tiles come out is always going to be, you know, like what you're focusing with. So, you know, you can get frustrated with that or you can do well with that. So that's the randomness in the game. Um, but, yeah, it's interesting. You know what's coming up. I like the destruction part, the remove one and remove two. That can hurt sometimes, but in some games, especially with this three by four grid, it's beneficial. You might have built a certain way and plans changed and getting rid of a couple on the end is actually a good thing because that allows you to change tax and maybe go up a different side um, of what you're building. So that's actually pretty interesting and could be beneficial. Um, so yeah, no. It's Good yeah, game. I think it's great for what it is, which is exactly what you guys have said, a, a lunchtime uh, tile laying game. And every game that I've played this has played out differently, like what I've gone for. This is the first time mm. I've ever gone for purple buildings, and that seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, but I've done residentials around parks and, and special, a mismatch of different ways. And yeah, I think it's excellent for what it is. Mm. Plus. I like the fact that it uses historical buildings, right? Yep. And it kind of, in a very general, very simplistic way, tells the story of the city of Warsaw. Reminds me a little bit of Quebec for that, right? It, it does, had a exactly. Similar theme. Yep. I mean, also in comparative, thinking of comparative games, it reminds me, we played Chai recently, 
Um, mm -hmm. And in a way, it's very similar. Um, a totally different mechanics, totally different theme and everything, but again, taking a, a fairly simple idea, in that case it was set, uh, set collection and recipe fulfillment, here it's tile laying and a, and a bit of drafting, and just takes that one mechanic and makes a very nice lunchtime game out of it. Yeah. And I rather like games that can do that. Same. Uh, if you're going to do something simple, which this game is, you better do it well, and this game does. So there you go. So uh, kudos to everybody involved, uh, whether that's Grand Art, uh, to begin with or North Star Games afterwards. Um, yeah, really, really excellent uh, lunchtime game. So there you go. If uh, Thank you to North Star for providing us with the review copy as well as the copies at uh, HeavyCon. Mm. Thank you to everybody watching uh, live as well as after the fact. Thanks to y'all for taking time out of your Tuesday for doing this. Uh, yeah, there you go. So we will be back Thursday for our patron-only stream of Intrigue. That's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. Gonna, there's going to be a lot of um, not glory to Rome's. Yeah, it's going to be an ugly <laughs> game. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're a patron at the $5 and up level, you'll be able to watch that live and after the fact on Thursday. If not, Throne of Allegory on Friday and then gulp. High Frontier 4 on Sunday, then we head to Essen. So, see you guys in just over 48 hours. Not much entry. going on, really, at all. There's really, no. <laughs> and in theory, we're going to pack, send emails, catch up, send orders. Right. Whatever. All that. <laughs> no problem. And eat somewhere in there. I, I'm Edward. I'm Jess. And I'm Martin. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you all on Thursday. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs> I really like this game. It's very simple, mm. but man, it does it really well, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. Just, I'm very happy that I've got a copy of it. Yep, same, same.